nice cinnamide from everything that I've heard is absolutely great for pigmentation. Like this is the shit you want to use to brighten. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on notifications for every time I post. I am actually posting, um, going to be posting a little bit more often because I just moved into my very first apartment. I've been waiting to film this updated skincare routine. Um, one, because I was waiting for all the products to arrive and use them for a little bit so I knew um, how my skin would react to all of them, doing a bunch of, a bunch of research on mainly YouTube um, and a lot of articles online, I'll get into that, um, but also to move into this apartment finally, um, which is below where we're living because we were evacuated from our house. I don't know if you know that, if you're new here, we uh, were evacuated due to the uh, fires in Northern California. Um, we uh, fortunately have somewhere to be. We have um, another place to, to live, fortunately, because our house is unlivable, but that's another story. I've explained that in past videos, but if you're a family or friend watching this, you know you know where we're at and we're safe. And um, I'm finally in my own apartment, my first ever apartment. I went a little wild and the in terms of decorating it and buying new things, but um, a lot of the stuff came from the old house, so that's great. Um, but I'm going on off tangent. Um, I'm going to be doing a first apartment, new apartment tour, um, complete tour video after this. Um, I have so many more ideas now that I'm, I'm in my own space. Um, we had a friend of ours who's a painter, contractor, all that stuff, paint the walls. Again, I'll go into that in that tour, but the one of the main reasons I was waiting to film the video about the skin care, but was also to use this beautiful uh, gray background that I chose and our friend painted for me. So I love it. Um, let me know if you like it down in the comments below. I tried to make it look nice in the background there with the lamp, the gold lamp that I've always had, um, but I got some uh, fake plants um, that are kind of scattered around. I put it back there. Um, a candle I got for Christmas that um, is in the apartment, but I put it behind me as kind of decoration. Let me know if you like it. Um, I'm using this wall in the living room, but you know, I might use another wall another day or use my vanity as a background one day. Who knows? Um, I'm just playing around with it now that I have my own place and like a professional looking background kind of. Let's get into the main reason for this video, which is an updated skincare routine. Um, I'm not a skincare expert. Um, I'm barely just a novice. I went down the rabbit hole of watching Hiram and Skincare by Hiram. And um, I've always loved Ali Klein's. You know, if you've watched um, this channel before, my videos before, I always reference her. She put out the bags that I used, that I still use. Uh, she's where I get a lot of my inspiration. A new channel that I just found and I'm obsessed with and love is Khaki. Khaki Reviews Beauty and her vlog channel. Oh my God, she's so sarcastic and she is like so honest and real. But anyway, um, all of that to say, I now have kind of a stable skincare routine that's been here for about, I want to say a month or two. Um, and I've dotted some things in between like the last one, which was all drank elephant. I won't go over that. You can go watch that. It'll be a link below or in the cards up here. Um, you can go watch all that and that's all changed. So um, I have, I used up all the Drunk Elephant um, products and then I never repurchased them because, um, well, they didn't really work um, very well or at least I didn't see that immediate reaction maybe or that immediate improvement. Maybe I should have stuck with it and bought it again, but they were really expensive. Not that these products aren't expensive. You can Google and search all these products for prices. Um, I will leave links to all these products below either on their actual website, on Sephora, wherever I found them. Now, before we even get into the products, um, I want to go over some things that um, I've introduced into my um, skincare routine, some tools that I've introduced based on a lot of stuff from Hiram, I'll be referencing him a lot. To start off is something that I bought a little while ago, maybe a couple months ago, is this electric um, face scrubber. Um, I know that can be a little bit harsh, but it has a really low setting. 
or really fast setting, but it's a um, knockoff version of like a more expensive one that's out there. I forget the name of the popular one or even what this one's called. I'll probably show it on the screen now. And again, link everything below either on Amazon or Sephora or Ulta, wherever you can find this. I think this was Amazon, way cheaper than the really popular one that everyone's using, um, that a lot of people are using. Um, in that it was only like $20 or less, I can't really remember, but it was really cheap compared to the like hundred odd dollar um, round one. And you just kind of press the button and it buzzes and you put it on your face and it sets up the, the cleanser that you're using. Then you hold it down and it stops. And one of the reasons I bought this is one, because Ali Glines um, recommended the the more expensive version of this on her channel and might be in maybe her favorites or one of the videos that she made in January, or February, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get one of those, but not because I wanted to just add another tool um, to my ever-growing collection of makeup and skincare for no reason, but I thought for me and be, only being able to use one hand, because um, the other side um, is really weak and can't really reach my face, I literally only use one hand for everything. Um, obviously, I use the other hand for dressing and for driving and for other things as much as I can in getting this arm engaged, but for the most part, I wash my face and do everything with this hand, my right hand, so I can only reach so far, it can only reach so far without putting my elbow on the table or my elbow on um, the sink or something like that. So I can only reach so far without it being uncomfortable. So I thought um, for someone like me or anybody else with limitations, this um, machine would be or tool would be perfect because it's that extra couple inches that you can't that you can't reach if you don't have the range of motion you know like i don't have much range of motion um so i use other tools to adapt and lastly in terms of tools or you know appl not appliances but tools that i'm using for skincare specifically are the reusable um face pads um, cotton pads from Paula's Choice. You can get these anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, Sephora, Ulta, um, a lot of places. But I was shopping on Paula's Choice anyway uh, several months ago and I bought these along with my purchase. Um, I'm not using any, any other Paula's Choice um, products today because I ran out and then I decided not to purchase anymore because um, they weren't really recommended in um, any of the videos that I watched by Hiram or Ali or even Khaki, I've gone down a rabbit hole of skincare, trust me, like I could go on for hours, but I won't bore you. I will just talk about the things that I bought and try and keep it concise. Again, I'm not an expert, so do your own research, discuss things with your own dermatologist and esthetician and, you know, places where you get, you know, your facials and things like that. I mean, if you can now with COVID and, and shutdowns and lockdowns and pandemic and stuff, but um, talk to you know the professionals and things like that do your own research but um, what I was gonna get long story short is reusable face pads um, just super eco-friendly cuts down on you know waste um, and one-time use products like you know cotton face pads so reusable amazing sorry I just double checked that I was still recording because that would be my worst fear is that if we you know, talked all about that and said all that and then it just wasn't recording. So anyway, um, what I have learned um, from Hiram and from a lot of people um, doing my own research and listening to other experts and things like that is it's very important to double cleanse. Now, I um, have never double cleansed. It's a brand new thing for me. And I've learned, you know, the, the proper products to use and why you use it and what's great for my skin. Or, but also, one thing that I hear a lot is to double cleanse from people that wear a a lot of makeup. So I was like, should I really be doing that? Do I need to do that? But I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but I get the concept of double cleansing because it does, you know, rid your pores and your skin of all the dirt that has accumulated all throughout the day or even um, at night, you know, against the pillow and things like that. So, um, although I don't wear a lot of makeup, um, I'm still understanding and learning that double cleansing is really important to, again, like I said, get rid of all the dirt in your pores and dirt on your face um, throughout the day. And then um, 
I'll talk about this later, but basically I also double cleanse in the morning because I've introduced a retinol mask. Because it's like an overnight treatment, an overnight mask that I'm using every night, um, I really want to get that off in the morning. And I have um, purchased and I'm using consistently the Biosant Squalene Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. Um, the point of double cleansing is to use an oil first, whether it's this kind of thing or like one that you scoop out of the pot. There are so many. I'm not going to give you a lot of recommendations on other things because I haven't tried a lot of things. It's not really my channel. I kind of just stick to some things and introduce them to you um, in a unique way, hopefully that you want to listen and um, learn a little bit from me. But um, I would definitely recommend go watching Skincare by Hiram and other skincare gurus um, for more options and what's best for you. If you have similar skin to me, which is like a little bit greasy and oily in the middle or the T-zone sometimes and mainly dry skin, super mainly dry skin and hyperpigmentation, um, acne scars and divots, um, large pores, etc. Then a similar skincare routine to mine would work, but again, do your own research for your particular skin issues and needs. So I'm using the, the like I said, this one from Biosance, um, recommended by Harem. That's pretty much what this um, video is gonna be called is, you know, I was influenced, how I was influenced by Hiram or, you know, influ influencers made me buy this or whatever, that's probably gonna be the title of this video um, because influencers did make, you know, uh, make me buy a lot of this stuff and um, in a way based on their research and what they found. So um, I chose this one out of the several that he recommended. Um, I, I'm liking it, I really am. It's a new concept to me to put something, you know, put this on dry skin. So basically the point of all cleansing oils is to put it on dry skin, whether you have makeup or not, morning and night, and you put it on dry skin, you rub it in, and it's supposed to break up the oils on your face already or something like that. Like it's supposed to, you know, you don't want to put water on there because water and oil separate, they don't mix, they just won't you know do the do the job of getting all the oils and dirt off your face which is what you want you want or which is what i want i should say i want to you know get off all the oils and dirt off my face and stuff from the day and you know have new skin fresh skin coming in and then um i'll try and go quick i know i've been talking a lot um so far but basically i am then going in with the la roche posay um, hydrating gentle cleanser. It's for normal to dry skin. Hiram gave a couple options of really good cleansers. I chose this one because I do have dry skin. Um, I stopped using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost cleanser because it was more of an exfoliant. And from what I learned, it's a little bit too, not that one specifically, but using an exfoliant cleanser is a little bit too harsh when you're trying to cleanse. So I use a cleanser after because you're supposed to um, use that to get all the oil from the day and the cleansing oil off. And then now you have a fresh uh, base, you know, to put your morning skincare routine on and makeup on or a fresh palette to put your nighttime uh, skincare on and go to bed. Now, something else that I do um, occasionally, maybe once a week, couple times a week, um, is the Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask, which again, recommended to me by Hiram as a really good um, mask to resurface your face, meaning it will create um, like skin turnover or cell turnover to um, help smooth out your skin and reduce redness or like build new skin that's not so red and new and less in pigmentation and things like that. And that's kind of what I want and um, get all the dead stuff out of your pores. I do see, or at least I feel a difference massively after using the cleansing oil and the cleanser. So like double cleansing has really changed my life and really changed the way, you know, my skin feels overall. It's a super smooth surface to put all my skincare on. I love the way my skin feels after. 
I don't know if that's just because I'm double cleansing for the first time ever in my life or it's these products specifically and if I were to use another cleansing oil and another cleanser would it do the same thing I don't think so because these are like specifically suited for my type of skin so for whatever reason it's working and I love it so back to using the cleansing pads I am using those pads with the all right everyone has trouble saying this but it's the crave kale lalu aha toner so it's a toner but it's specifically a skin resurfacing exfoliator with aha this is what i use right after i double cleanse morning and night um it's pretty great for get again getting all the dead skin cells off even if they're so tiny i can't see it smooths everything out pretty great from my understanding AHAs are really good for dry skin um, and BHAs are good for oily skin both do about the same thing where you're trying to exfoliate both can you know both can exfoliate both can work well on pores and um, you know skin cell turnover and things like that but AHA specifically I, I'm learning is best for drier skin so another thing recommended by Hiram and others and doing my own research you know I, I see a lot of this stuff is recommended by Hiram but um, or other influencers but really I do try and do my own research on top of all this like reading so many articles on the best one you know the science behind it and why they recommend it and usually Hiram is like so good at explaining the science anyway that I don't have to look up too much um you know look up too much else after he's recommended something because he explains things so so well but um if I really am am unsure um like a BHA versus an AHA and then and what's gonna be best for my particular skin um like we'll get into it with sunscreen that's a whole palava too but um I will do my research if I'm unsure at all or if something's super expensive and I don't want to just jump into it and try it for no you know just try it to try it for trial's sake or whatever something for um firming up the under eyes i am constantly trying to minimize these purple under eye bags and under eye dark circles that i have i mean it constantly looks like like i've been punched in the face like honestly i'm just shocked every time i look in the mirror um, and I'm like, is it allergies? Is it congestion? Um, I'm over exaggerating, but you know, I specifically didn't wear any makeup in this video because I wanted you guys to see this is what my skin looks like versus, um, back when I did either my makeup last time and started out with no, with no makeup or back when I did the drunk elephant video, or even have this as proof for the next six months when Maybe my skincare will look completely different. I don't know. But this is, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to not do my makeup is so you can see what I'm talking about when I'm like saying acne scars or redness or hyperpigmentation or dark circles or pores or whatever. Um, so that's that. Um, what I'm doing for partially for the under eyes in color to minimize the purpleness and the the dark circles is also firming it as well because it, I would love to be able to wear concealer um, and makeup and foundation and things like that and even powder if I need to um, without it caking that would be great because whether it's the makeup or it's me I don't know but without a doubt every single time it will crease you know the makeup will crease in the lines and stuff um, and that would be great if it if things were just a lot smoother. And one of the things I bought based on Hiram's recommendation to help with that um, with that problem is the Versed or Versed uh, Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel with Vitamin C and Ginseng Root Extract. So hopefully the Vitamin C will brighten things, but hopefully the other extracts and other products inside of this will um, do that. Will do what I'm hoping, which is firming so something i use um both morning and at night it is the peter thomas roth pro strength niacinamide discoloration treatment it says it's supposed to reduce the look of discoloration and dark patches um niacinamide from everything that i've heard is absolutely great 
for pigmentation. Like this is the shit you want to use to brighten and for pigmentation. I've also heard a lot of things for pores. So I've been using it here where my pores are biggest and along the cheeks next to the nose and on the nose. Speaking of niacinamide, there is a under eye brightening niacinamide type cream from First Aid Beauty. I'll put it on the screen. Recommended by Hiram and I'm not sure anybody else, but definitely him and it has great reviews that he highly recommends. Um, not just covering because it has some peach in, in it and stuff in the in the actual cream, but great for eventually brightening brightening the under eyes. So um, something else that I bought uh, based on an influencer's recommendation or creator's uh, creator's favorites is which is the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidants Firming Daily Treatment. Yeah, from morning and night, it's a treatment moisturizer with seven brighteners, nine antioxidants. I don't know if I was technically in need of a moisturizer. As you'll see in a little bit, I got a new Tatcha cream. I tried to, I tried the water cream a while ago because I am so dry, but the cream or the moisture that it was supposed to give did not uh, last long. It kind of just soaked into my skin and went away. Um, the Tatcha water cream specifically. And so I wasn't really in need of a new moisturizer because I have now the Tatcha Dewy cream and I'll go into that in a minute, um, which I love. But Allie Glines in her, I think it was the end of the year favorites or one of her skincare favorites videos recommended this one um, as just one of the moisturizers that you really need to get because um, it is for, uh, for firming and dullness and gives you a glow. I also use the Crave Great Barrier Relief Serum, which is a skin barrier repairing serum. Um, this is like um, meant to really, really repair the skin's moisture barrier. If it's broken, if it's dry. Um, I don't know if it's specifically meant for oily or dry. Again, do your own research, um, etc. cetera. But, um, I know that I occasionally get extremely dry in certain places. I'm overall generally dry and flat in places more than I am oily. So I don't really know what kind of skin type it's meant for. But for me, occasionally I'll get so dry and crack crackly. Right here where the BiPAP sits, you know, um, for my sleep apnea, you know, it sits right here. So I'll get really dry, like right here and right here and things like that. Um, or occasionally if I get a spot, I'll get like extra dry around that area. Or if I'm wearing a mask, I'll get dry around my chin. So I just thought, um, um, also on the recommendation of Hiram, um, this was a really good purchase to kind of repair things in the long run. Not just like for an immediate rescue relief on those areas that I mentioned, but something to repair the skin's moisture barrier overall to So when I am using my moisturizers, it actually um, will stay, you know, it doesn't just soak them in and stuff. And I think it really has made a difference in holding all the moisture rather than evaporating, you know, everything that I use and just soaking it up and leaving me with a like a dry surface and stuff. I think it has made quite a difference. So something I use um, mainly morning and night, a little more sparingly because it is really expensive and you know, I mean, a lot of the stuff is expensive, but this is quite expensive and um, there's no like refills for this packaging, which is kind of um, annoying. So I have to buy like a whole another tub or pot if I want to get another one. I mean, um, I'm really kind of on the kick of like eco-friendly or like one time use products and trying to minimize that if I can. So I do try and use this sparingly. Also, it is incredibly moisturizing, like really, really slick, like it will just bring the dew and the like the brightness and the moisture back to your skin wherever you put it you really don't have to use a lot um whatsoever you know really just one dollop on the end of this little spoon and or even like tiny like half of this little spoon thing and it'll get your whole face i use the kind of morning and night depending on how my skin feels that day um i say i'm a little hesitant to say morning and night because i have been experimenting with sunscreens but let me 
before I go into all that shit, let me just touch on really fast the last product I see here before the sunscreen, which is the retinol uh, treatment, the ret the A1, nope, not A1, that is steak sauce, um, <laughs> the 1A retinol and peptides overnight mask um, with antioxidants, brighteners, and a peptide complex by Allies of Skin. The retinol is supposed to facilitate rejuvenation while repairing past damage. It hydrates and brightens stressed out skin. So that's what I want. And I'm, I don't really want that for my divots and for my acne scars. You know, fortunately I don't have a lot of acne these days, which I'm really thankful for. I'm not trying to get rid of spots or I'm trying to now repair. I think I've said this in other videos. I'm trying to, you know, use the skincare, you know, to repair the skin before I try and cover it with a bunch of makeup that, that could look shit because of my bad skin, you know? So I'm trying to repair the skin first. Um, and I'm hoping the retinol in this will do this. My favorite has always been the Murad like Invisascar, I think it's called. Um, I'll put it on the screen here um, that I've used a lot actually in the past year or two, maybe year or so. Um, buying it several times, which is a lot for me. Usually I I will buy new things to try and I don't stick it out because I don't see the difference. But actually that one, the Invisascar, I think it's called, um, meaning like it will help with like smoothing out specifically scars and stuff. Um, that has been amazing. And I bought like several of the small ones and one of the big ones I ran out of that and I knew that this was coming so I didn't buy a new Invisascar when I ran out in like February or so. So I'm going to try this one and hoping the retinol does the same thing. If it doesn't then I will definitely buy a new Invisascar. So last but not least because it's a huge deal is sunscreen. So I have officially jumped on the sunscreen bandwagon and will not get off uh, no matter what and I've done a shit ton of research on um, well, it doesn't take a, it doesn't take a lot of research to know that you do need sunscreen every single day. Every single person needs sunscreen because the sun is like the number one thing that ages us. It's like ninety percent contributing factor to aging skin, whether you're in it or not. Because you know you're by windows, or you know even if you're going from the house to the car, you're still exposed to the sun. You're exposed to the sun every single day, even in a pandemic, even if you're inside all day use sunscreen just in case always just use sunscreen so now i've done a lot of research the best type of sunscreen that you should be using um i have put a firm stance on using on only using mineral sunscreens i've decided that that's where i'm going to draw the line in the sand for me and you can use chemical if that's the only one you can use or if that's best for you or you don't have to like give a reason use chemical full use chemical if that's the one that works best for you like whatever like Sun sunscreen, sun, I can't speak. Some sunscreen is better than no sunscreen. That's what I hear a lot from a lot of the influencers and creators. So I'm not gonna judge, just use what's best for you. But for me, I'm really, really gonna try and just use mineral sunscreen because chemical sunscreens for the most part are really damaging for coral, re coral reefs and the environment. They flush down the, the sink and they're really, really damaging. The best and only way to really give you some protection is a mineral sunscreen or a physical barrier, but a mineral sunscreen is that physical barrier. It's called a physical sunscreen and all the things that go into a mineral sunscreen, which are um, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which are the two um, big active ingredients that are usually used in mineral sunscreens. I'm not going to say I know what I'm talking about in terms of, you know, other types of ingredients in a mineral sunscreen, but those are the two things that I've been hearing a lot um, are being used in a mineral sunscreen and that's what you need. I mean, that's what comprises a mineral sunscreen. My journey with sunscreens or mineral sunscreens specifically is trying to find the best tinted one because although I don't wear makeup every day, it would be nice to get into the routine because I do use uh, skincare every single day. It's just a habit. Might as well have a tint to my sunscreen might as well have some form of coverage, whether it be minimal to moderate coverage in something that I can be applying every single day. Um, 
So first of all, I tried the First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen. Again, it'll be posted somewhere here on the screen, the, the exact title or um, the exact name of it, but it's the First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen, slightly tinted. Um, again, all the stuff, um, I did my research from Hiram, from Ali Klein, from Khaki Reviews Beauty, and several other influencers as well, or other YouTubers, and a lot of uh, research online, reading reviews and things. Um, and that was the first one I tried based on all my research. I won't go over it, but that's what I tried. And it was really gritty and bitty and grainy and greasy. Now I have dry skin, like I keep saying, but for some reason it was just so freaking greasy and I don't know why. Um, luckily, you know, I bought it from Ulta and it was a super easy return. And then shortly after I tried the CeraVe, the CeraVe tinted, uh, mineral sunscreen. Um, again, like that wasn't gritty or like grainy. It was smoother, but it was so greasy again. And I was using the exact same um, skincare products that I showed you, you know, and I'm like, I can't not use moisturizer. I can't not use some things. It's just going to be greasy and it's so annoying. Finally, I was like, okay, I know I have really, really dry skin, but all these things that I've been using are way too greasy for me. Maybe I need a mattifying sunscreen and luckily there are they they do exist the matte screen by super goop again on the screen um and all the reviews are great that it does mattify and i watched a bunch of other people wear it and try it specifically khaki which again i'm in love with like seriously um i watched her review it and use it but she's able to wear everything which i'm so jealous or at least most things she's able to wear all the mineral sunscreens that i'm going to mention that I will mention, the, the matte screen by Supergoop, all by Supergoop, the matte screen, the CC cream, or the CC screen, and the zinc oxide uh, uh, sunscreen, all with a tint. And she's tried those and I've watched those over and over again, deciding which one is the best one for me. I finally decided on the matte screen, even though I'm dry, because all of the ones that I've tried before have been too greasy. So I thought, okay, I'll use the matte screen and try it and um, just try it, just see what I think. And maybe it will help with coverage and also dry down nice and like um, satiny and matte and like also help with pores because it's got some silicones in it. So that's what I also loved about it too, or at least hoped I would love about it, which is the kind of like pore filling and pore smoothing or at least um, texture smoothing kind of aspect to it. I really want to try it, but they were sold out in Sephora after I returned the CeraVe one, which is so annoying. Um, and I want to buy it from Sephora because I can rely on um, the shipping and the returns and getting the points. It was sold out on Sephora when I wanted to get it, which is really annoying. So right at that time, the Sheer Screen by Supergroup just came out just a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh no, I've seen all the PR from it and all the advertisements from it and people are getting sponsored by Supergoop and doing videos on it and blah, blah, blah. And it just looked amazing. So I kind of got hooked and I bought it. Um, actually, Allie Glines got sponsored or whatever you want to call it. She got, she got sent it and was told to use it and she loved it. And then I got it and received it and I don't like it. <laughs> That's the upshot. I don't like it so far. I've used it for about a week or so. And although it's meant to dry down to a satin finish, not matte, but like a satin finish, um, I was hoping this would be like a great in-between, like not too greasy, not too matte, kind of in-between. It like pills, it like pills up on my skin, all the products that I use. You know, I even wait 15 minutes after my skincare and after my moisturizer to use it and p apply it thoroughly so there's no white cast and then it like, it just feels weird. So right now I am, in my head, I'm debating between, I'll put it on the screen, the Super Goop Zinc Oxide Sunscreen, um, because that has a pink tint to it, or pink hue in it, and that apparently will brighten the skin, and I kind of want that to counteract the redness. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, but I kind of like the sense that it will brighten. The Zinc Oxide Sunscreen by Super Goop, and then another one is the CC screen 
by Super Goop. I'm not as convinced by the matte because if this is kind of drying on me, then that might be super drying on me, even though I can get a little oily right here, nose here, but that's about it. Um, CC screen, I'm kind of more leaning towards. I want to try because it does have the, the tint to it, but you can choose your color. You can choose, um, you can narrow it down to what type of um, tone or undertone and shade you are. I would be 105N if I got it. Um, I'll put that on the screen. Now, I am so torn and confused. I don't need to spend any more money, but I do want a sunscreen that I'm gonna be consistent in wearing. I kept the box and the order slip from the Sephora purchase of this, and I'm gonna return that when I'm next around to Sephora, which who the hell knows when that will be, because I don't go anywhere, but um, I'm gonna be doing that soon and then ordering one of the other sunscreens that I mentioned from Supergoop, one of those three, or one, of, or, the, or probably one of those two, the zinc oxide or the CC screen. Anyways, that rounds out this video. I really hope it's been recording the entire time. I'll go look when I'm done, hopefully it did. But I just wanted to mention really fast before I go, this head wrap that I got ages ago. I mean, literally like a year or two ago, I don't know. But I got it and I never used it. But now that I'm in my own place, I kind of found it again. And it's like this Velcro headband, I think just from Amazon or something. And I got it because um, I was like, oh, I'm going to do a face mask and I want my hair out of the way. And then I couldn't really get it on myself and kind of gave up. But now that I'm downstairs, I'm that much farther away from my mom and dad because they're a couple floors above me. And I'm not seeing them every, I mean, I'm seeing them every single freaking day. But um, I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing my mom right as I wake up. She puts it in a hair in a hair tie every day for me as I can't do that myself and gets it out of the way so I can go on the treadmill and sweat if I need to or just to get it out of the way um, so it's out of my face and stuff. But again, I'm not seeing her right when I wake up and I need my hair to be out of the way to wash my face, to do my skincare, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I have started using this again I swing it over my head, clip it in the front, and like put it up to my forehead up here and things like that. And it gets my hair out of the way um, just for a little bit while I'm doing washing my face in the morning because I don't sleep with my hair in a hair tie. And then in the morning my hair is down and I want to wash my face. So that's what I use. Um, it's, you know, long enough that I can swing over my head because um, that's the only way I'll get it around. I have limited range of motion. So that's sort of the little um, adaptability trick that I use. Um, more to come in like the house tour or the ap apartment tour coming soon. But I really hope you enjoy this really long rambly video on my skincare, my updated skincare video. Um, links to products below and what I've been using lately. Keep an eye out on places like my Instagram for more frequent updates on skincare or what I bought or what I use. Um, again, uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and turn on notifications for every time I post. I am really going to try and post more, um, way more often these days with either updated skincare or new things that I, or new makeup that I buy and do more get ready, get ready with me videos or um, showing off certain products. There's a couple of videos that I have in mind of some products that I just bought, things actually coming next week. Um, the Becca Eye Brightener is coming. I'm so excited for that. And that has gotten a massive cult following. Um, I'm excited to try that. The Putty um, Blushes from e.l.f. that's coming. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out on Instagram. Um, and if you turn on the no notifications, here you'll see every time I post, you'll get a little notification every time I post. The next video will definitely be the house tour if it's not already up. I really hope to you enjoy this video, show your support by subscribing and liking and sharing it with other people um, that you think would like this video. Uh, comment down below something you liked. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you're all staying safe and